This video is sponsored by actionvfx.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this energetic logo animation inside of After Effects using Saber, which is a free plugin. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Then let's create another new composition. This is going to be our logo placeholder. So let's call this logo. Hit OK and finally our last comp that is going to be our scene composition where we will build up our complete scene. Hit OK. Then in the logo comp, let's drag and drop in the logo that we want to use. So here I'm using the Thor Love and Thunder logo that I just downloaded from uh, Google. So I'm going to select this logo and I don't want to um, I don't want to use the Marvel Studio logo here yeah, because when we use the saber effect on top of this it becomes a uh, very weird so i'm gonna just create a mask and invert the mask to remove it all right so here we have our logo now let's go into the scene composition drag and drop in the logo comp just like so go into layer and auto trace make sure to keep the settings at a default and click on ok so here we have created a really nice mask. Now there is one thing that I want to do is delete these three masks that you can see under the Thor text. So let's hit M to bring down the mask property, select these three masks and uh, hit delete to delete them. So that is good. Now let's go into effects and presets and search for a saber effect. Double click to apply that and then go into the custom core and in the core type I'm going to change this from saber to layer mask and now it's looking pretty damn awesome I can hit ctrl shift h to hide the mask and now we can see our nice saber effect then we can go into the presets and there are a lot of different presets to select so I'm going to select the electric one I think this looks pretty cool so if I preview this you can see we get this really cool look pretty nice now let's go at the very start and set the start offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe let's go to around maybe four four seconds should be fine and set this to zero so now we have something like this now also let's animate the mask evolution so i'm going to create a keyframe on the mask evolution then i'll go to um four seconds again and um, let's give it maybe around 20 rotations so let's see what we get okay that is uh, looking pretty nice also let's add some flicker to this so let's go into the flicker option and increase the flicker intensity to around 400 should be fine and let's preview this so yeah i think that is uh, nice then let's um, go to 4 seconds, hit T to bring down the opacity, create a keyframe, go to 5 seconds and set this to 0. So we have something like this. Or maybe let's move this to 5 seconds, I think 4 seconds will be a bit too slow. So you can hit U and let's move this keyframe as well. So yeah that is uh, looking much better i think now let's select this composition hit ctrl d to duplicate it and then i'll go at the very start let's change the color to something like a nice orange -ish color and then go into the 
custom core and let's set this to around 180. So now we have something like this, but also we need to change the blending mode of these two layers to screen. And now we have something like this, which looks pretty damn awesome. All right, now let's duplicate this logo, hit control D and let's change the color of this to something like red, put this below and I'll go to around four seconds or maybe five seconds. Yeah, five seconds should be fine. And hold alt and open square bracket to crop this layer. All right, and let's change the blending mode of this to normal. Delete the saber effect from this. Then hit T and uh, let's get rid of the keyframe. Set this to 100. I'll go to around six seconds, I think, or maybe somewhere around there. Create a keyframe on the opacity. Go at the start and set this to zero. So now we have something like this. Pretty awesome. Nice and simple. Now right click and create a new adjustment layer called this optics. Let's go into effects and presets and search for optics compensation. Double click to apply that. Let's go at the very start. Click on reverse lens distortion and set this to let's go something like maybe 167 or something. Create a keyframe. I'll go to around uh, five seconds and set this to zero. I'll go to around maybe four seconds and hit U. Set this to, I don't know, maybe 160. And then go to five seconds and set this to zero. So now we have something like this, which looks pretty damn awesome. And finally, there we have our text. I think I should move this a bit more forward. So we have this very nice reveal as you can see. Pretty cool, I think. Yeah, that is looking super awesome. Now let's add some randomness to the view center. So I'm going to go at the very start, create a keyframe on the view center and hit U so we can see the keyframes. Hold Alt and Control at the same time and click on this keyframe to convert this to a stop keyframe. And then let's go maybe a few frames forward like this. And what we can do is adjust this. So I can hit Control Shift H again and adjust this to get a different look altogether. And I'll go a few frames forward again. Move this right here. A few frames forward. Move this here. And get a really nice and abstract look, I think. Just like so. And finally, I will set this to, I think, 960 by 540. That was the center. So now when I preview this, we get a very nice random abstract lighting kind of an effect, which looks pretty damn cool, I think. Yeah. Also add a curves adjustment to enhance the complete uh, saber light. So I'm going to pull this point just like so to enhance the to increase the brightness and uh, this one to make it a bit more tighter in terms of contrast. So as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, that is looking very, very nice. Now, here I have a few assets that I downloaded from actionvfx.com, which are our today's sponsor, by the way. Actionvfx.com is one of the best place to download stock footages for your next VFX project. They have a complete library of effects like smoke, energy, fire, explosions, glass, particles, debris, and even sound effects. All these effects has been used in movies like Jumanji, Spider-Man Far From Home, Stranger Things, etc. And they have a special 50% off sale going on until 27th of May. So make sure to check out actionvfx.com. Link is in the bio. So I'm going to use this um, energy shock wave. First of all, let's put this uh, below. So I'm going to pull this maybe somewhere around there. And let's go. And I'm going to hold alt and right square bracket to crop them. And now we have this really nice burst. Now, if we want, we can also add color to this shock wave. So for that, I will be using a free plugin from Video Copilot called 
we see color vibrance let's add that and then we can select whichever color that we want i'm going to select the same from the thor logo something like this one let's hit control c and paste it on our second shock wave and let's add this to something like a you know a reddish or maybe an orangish red color or something like that so now we have this nice burst and it looks pretty damn awesome yeah i think i need to increase the speed of this so let's right click go into time and um, time stretch let's set this to around 70 hit ok and this one to 70 as well all right so that is looking pretty nice now let's go to our main render comp drag and drop in the scene composition just like so and um, let's also switch to 16 bits per channel so hold alt and click on the small icon and uh, right click and create a new adjustment layer call this noise let's go to effects and presets and add some noise to this just so that we can avoid any kind of color bendings so that looks much better i can increase the noise if i want to not that much but somewhere on five should be good select the scene and set this to screen i think yeah that should work and also i will add some glow on this so let's search for glow add that increase the radius and um, let's also play around with the glow threshold a little bit so that is looking pretty nice and intense as you can see let's also add a nice background and right now it looks blank and black so let's hit Control y first of all to create a new solid call this bg for background hit ok drag and drop it at the back let's create another solid hit Control y call this a uh, turbulence and let's put this uh, below let's change the blending mode of this to overlay then go into effects and presets and search for turbulence turbulent noise now the reason you cannot see anything because i need to jump into the scene and uh, let's select the logo i mean the logo composition going to render setting and in the composite setting let's set this from black to transparent and same for this one as well and set this to transparent so now if i go back and let's select the background go into fix and preset and add a gradient ramp on this double click and let's place this one right here and this one right here set this to a nice um, bluish tone darker blue and this one and this one to a nice red so as you can see it looks pretty nice let's increase the ram scatter to 100 let's go back into the turbulence layer let's bring down the contrast a little bit like that and go into the transform let's increase the transform like so and then animate the evolution so i'm gonna hold alt and click on the stopwatch add a very simple expression that is time times uh, 200 so we have a continuous movement in the background as well and as you can see it looks uh, very nice it adds a really nice texture in the background looks pretty good boom there we go looking pretty nice let's also animate the glow that we added on the scene so first of all i'm going to increase the intensity Let's go somewhere around there, create a keyframe, go forward in time and bring that down to, I don't know, maybe around 0.2 should be fine. Yeah. So now we have something like this, which looks pretty good. Let's also give a little bit of movement to the logo. So let's select the third layer, hit S to bring down the scale property. I'll go right here, create a keyframe, go all the way up to nine seconds. And, uh, bring that back to around 90 percent so we should have a little bit of movement and yeah that is looking pretty nice so there we go there we have our energetic logo animation inside of after effects using saber and a little bit of vc color vibrance as well but i think all in all this is a very interesting logo animation especially if you want to create this kind of um you know intro reveal or title reveal for 
your gaming maybe your gaming youtube channel or a movie you can use that it has a lot of possibilities you can add some more assets download some more amazing assets from actionvfx.com first link is in the description below so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to like this video subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out